Welcome back to The Breakdown. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make a Hunger Games server with Apex Minecraft hosting. Apex has built-in, easily set up Hunger Games servers. Hunger Games are a bit, is a bit more of a complicated game mode. You have to worry about maps and things like that. And Apex takes care of all of that for you and has a pre-built, ready-to-go Hunger Games server up and ready working, right? So nonetheless, we're going to show you exactly how to set that up today. And thanks to them for sponsoring this video. You can check out Apex, the first link down below to get started and basically get to the homepage here where we can move on with uh, setting up our Hunger Games server. Once you are on the Apex homepage here, go ahead and click on the get started button and that will take you off to where we can make sure Minecraft selected. It should be selected by default and we can select our RAM. Now it doesn't matter per se, as long as you have two gigs of RAM, you'll be able to start a Hunger Games server. The more RAM you have, the less lag you'll have. But for server starting out, I'd recommend probably two or four gigabytes, and then you can upgrade from there as you need to. We're going to start with two gigabytes here. Click order now. That's going to take us to this page where we want to enter in our username, whatever your username is, just enter it in right here. For the subdomain, this is how people are going to be able to join your server. I'm going to make it like tutorial server one, for example, should be fine. And then for your IP, how people join your server, they would type tutorial server one.apexmc.co into Minecraft and be able to join your server. Now for the server version, this is very, very important. Click on this and then you want to go ahead and search for Hunger Games, right? Because that's the server we're starting. They have a bunch of different presets, but Hunger Games, as you can see, is right here. When we type in Hunger, Hunger Games 1.17.1, go ahead and click on that. And now we can see the server version. Hunger Games is selected. That means when your server starts, the first time it starts, it will be set up and ready for Hunger Games. You then need to select a server location. I would kind of recommend the one closest to you. For me, that's going to be Miami. For you, it may be Dallas or it may be somewhere in Europe. You know, there's tons of different European locations as well as even a South American and Asia locations at Apex Minecraft Hosting. So from there, you can select any add-ons that you want and we can go ahead and continue on with setting up our server. At this point, it takes us to the cart where we can review our information. It is $9.99 per month after the first month because the first month does get a discount making it just $7.49. Click checkout again, and I'm going to go ahead and enter in the basically checkout information here. Do a quick jump cut and jump to the page that you'll be at after you've entered in all this information and basically has purchased your server. Once you purchase your Hunger Games server, you'll be taken to a page looking like this, where in the bottom left you can decide whether or not you want to review the transaction, and then we can go ahead and move on to getting into the server. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and view your basically startup page here. This is going to give you a bunch of different information as well as like a simple intro video on your server and some information you need to know when, you know, kind of managing your server. As you can see here, the first thing is check for the new server information email, which we just so happen to already have up here. And as you can see, this does have the information such as our IP address for the server. I did use an existing panel account, but you will have a panel password here should you have one or should you have just created one. Uh, if that's the case, go ahead and save that and change that password, all of that stuff to one that you know. But the most important part is we have an IP here. Let's go ahead and join this server and I will show you what it's like to basically join your uh, Hunger Games server for the first time. So when we join on in here, we will see that we are immediately taken to Welcome to Apex Hosting's Survival Games game type. As you can see, there are three or four, excuse me, different maps. We have City, Chernobyl, Breeze, and Lost, all ready to go. Looking for more information on how to add your own arenas, you can find all that information over here, which is really, really cool. We've got other info right here. We can right click and warp to this info. It's actually kind of, that's somewhat redundant, but that's okay. It's a really cool feature. And then over here, we do have arena information. Here's where you can view information about the different arenas and join them to fight against other players. You can join arenas from here as well. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and actually just start an arena. I mean, it's just me in this, so it's a little sad, but um, as you can see, we can go ahead and do a slash HG kit and then choose the kit we want. We'll go ahead and go pro because why not? And um, yeah, now we just kind of have to wait for this to start. Problem is I don't think it's ever going to start because you kind of need more than one person to start a Hunger game. So keep that in mind. But at this point, you're good to go. I do want to go ahead and log into the Apex panel quickly and kind of show you the back end as well as some of the plugins that they are using. You can do that by clicking panel login right here. When you click panel login, it will take you to a page right like this right like so, boom, it'll take you to a page like this where you will enter in the login information that you have back here. Let me go ahead and do that and I will see you once we're logged in. So when you do log into your server, you will be able to see here, here's that subdomain I was talking about. So we can, for example, copy this and instead of having to use that long string of numbers, 
that we had here, right? We can actually join via that as well. And it would join us back on in. As you can see, it's now teleported us back to the server. As you can see, this one's now listed as waiting. We're waiting for some more players to get in there to get that started. You can play any of these maps though, just by you know right-clicking on them. And should you wanna leave, you could do slash HG leave and, and, and leave the map, right? Like so. So there you go. That is how you can do that. Now, coming back over to the panel, on the left-hand side over here, you have FTP file access. When you click on this, you will see that all of this is blacked out, but that's just so you all can't access the server, for example, and then go ahead and click log in. Then you will see all of this information here. If we go into plugins, we will be able to see all of the different plugins that Apex is using to host this server. For those of you out there who want to kind of know how to host a server, here are the plugins that Apex is using. There's a lot of configuration that goes into this stuff. So it's not just this, you know, it's not installing these plugins, you're done. There's a lot of configuration, but you can come in here and edit your files as well. For example, if you wanted to change essentials, you can come in here and edit your config files. No problem. Change those to whatever you want. You can do this for any of the different files that are listed here. If we do click back in the top left and click back again, and our editor hating us for having to black out more things there in that process. But nevertheless, you will be able to see over on the left-hand side, you can access the console, different player features, different config files directly without going through FTP file access. You can actually edit those there. There is a plugin list here as well. How backups, you know, kind of get your backups and see those being managed. Add different commands, schedule tasks, add users that can actually come in. There's also an audit over here, startup parameters that you can add, change, different customizations, tons of different stuff that Apex adds in and allows you to basically change and do whatever you would like to with. So awesome stuff there. You can also stop and restart your server should you so wish. But nonetheless, that is kind of the basics of a Apex Minecraft server and starting a Hunger Games server with Apex. It's super simple and you're in game playing Hunger Games with your friends. Get five or 10 of your friends on here and start going crazy in some of these worlds or some of these uh, different arenas. And you can easily add in your own arenas right over here using this uh, different guide. You can see adding in the arenas and how that process is done and then also creating arenas how that process is done. So awesome stuff there. There's also more stuff around spawn. For example, you could add in, you could turn this into a hub if you wanted to actually. But nevertheless, that is how you can start a Hunger Games server with Apex Minecraft hosting. Should you have any questions, Apex is here to help. In the bottom, let me go ahead and turn off my face cam really fast. In the bottom right down here, you will see Apex's support. You can click on this chat button at any time to pull up the support and get that rocking and rolling. That's the best way to get help. You can't comment on this video, but Apex is there to help you. They are there to you know fix you know any problems you I have, have answer any questions, like if you get confused, adding an arena or something like that, Apex is there to help via this live chat. But nonetheless, thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. My name is Nick, this has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.